Hey, this is Tyler with Woodland Reapers, and today we're going to be talking about the rival release made by B3. Um, let me show it to you first. So, it's a nice dual caliper release. Uh, this is the nylon version, not the swivel connector. It's got a really nice latch or uh, like buckle that goes around your wrist. It fits real nice. Um, some of the pros I've had with this release is it has a really nice trigger. Uh, right now, it, it seems like very hairline, which worried me at first. But when you pull it back, you can feel as you pull through that trigger. But some of the other pros is that it's a really good beginner release for very like very cheap. I bought this for. $55 and I think you can get it for cheaper some other some place. of the other pros of this release is when you're pulling it back Some releases will feel like they have a lot of give But personally, I don't feel this one feels really sturdy and I don't feel like it's gonna slip or like I've had some teeth that have a little gap that you feel like the strings gonna slip out but it has a really nice curved trigger that fits your fits your finger real nice but Personally, one of the cons for me, and you can, this is just with this specific one, is I like the swivel one better in my opinion. I feel like it just keeps that string a lot more straight, even though it doesn't really matter because it's under tension. So, but another great thing about it is it fits all sizes of wrists. This can be used as a woman release or even a child release. So, super easy to adjust the flex connector. All you need is a simple Allen key, and once you loosen that up, you can pull it through or push it down to whatever length you'd like. Usually you'd want it about here in your hand, so, but it's different for everybody. One of the cons on this release for me, or one of the cons period that you'll get with some more um, like upper end releases is usually right here, there's another little Allen key that you can adjust the sensitivity of your trigger to whatever pressure you'd like but I mean it has a good trigger but that would be a really good uh, reason to get a more expensive trigger I'm gonna shoot it real quick uh, so you guys can see how it shoots shoots really smooth um, I haven't had any um, complaints I the buckle I don't know if this is just me but sometimes the buckle kind of hard to get on we'll just cut to me getting it on B3 also makes a ton of other great releases um, like for example if you want to get a more upper end version of this one kinda you can look at the B3 Rook usually runs you about $120 US um, it has the metal swivel it doesn't have this nylon flex connector all right release is on uh, as we were talking about with the buckle I usually rock it on about what is it the fourth dot but I have a fat wrist so it might be different for everybody will definitely be different for everybody but sometimes I'll go with the fifth one if I want more of a tighter fit but let's shoot some arrows with the release I've shot a good amount with this release um, and like I said I haven't ran into any issues so I really do recommend it today we're gonna use the high country x12 but shoot. my arrow sometimes but as you can see you can put this um but yeah you see I didn't I didn't have to put a lot of pressure but it's not hairline it's hard to show it hairline like it was when it's not under tension which was kind of I don't know maybe I'm just weird and gotten lucky but I've never had releases that are super hairline like that Feels really nice. 
Like, if you're looking for a really good budget release, I really do recommend this one. This is the best one I've had so far. I usually... I usually use uh, True releases, but I heard a lot of good things about B3, and I decided to buy this one, because good budget one but I want to try out some of the ones with the metal swivel whenever I do I'll make a review on that but I recommend this release especially if you're on a budget it's really good for new archers and even experienced archers but thank you for watching this review go check out some of our other videos I'll see you next time